Hey guys, welcome back. Hello, I keep doing that. Hello, hello. Hello if you're new, my name is Sarah. And if you stumbled upon this video just for pregnancy related content, welcome. Um, I am now 14 weeks pregnant. Tomorrow I'll be 14 weeks, so we're just rounding on up. Tomorrow I will be 14 weeks pregnant with my third little baby. Um, I have two other little girls. My oldest is named Olive and she is five, and my soon-to-be middle child is named Eleanor and she is three. And this is our third and final little baby to complete our little family, and we are so excited. And if you haven't watched my channel before, I also make lots of other mommy content as well as lifestyle content like what's for dinner videos, cook with me videos, clean with me videos, decorating videos, plus size fashion and beauty. And if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you haven't already, you should follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. So today's video is going to be part ginger reveal and part first trimester kind of recap as well as share some of my um, little babes first little things that I got as well as some mama favorites for me that have been helping me through the pregnancy so without further ado though I always get asked in my videos what lipstick I'm wearing it never fails and if I forget then I it's hard for me to remember because <laughs> um, I switched up all the time so I'm gonna quickly share that with you I'm wearing the Rimmel lasting finish lip liner in spice these are really inexpensive and this is a beautiful color I love this This is probably my all-time favorite lip liner and then I'm wearing another cheap little product this is the wet n wild lipstick they've recently changed their um, packaging so you don't get this nasty lovely lipstick packaging and it's all yucky on the inside um, but this is in Mochalicious. I love this color as well and then on top this is the Dominique uh, Cosmetics lip gloss I think that's like the lemonade line um, and this is in the color strawberry lemonade one the packaging is just so gosh darn cute but this is literally the best smelling lip gloss I have ever smelled in my life and my shirt, if you're wondering, is from Chic Soul. I love this thing. I do believe they bring these back. I got this last uh, summertime, but I do believe that they bring this style back in different colors, but I love this shirt. All right, so I guess the beginning I will share with you is our little gender reveal. So um, I hadn't planned on sharing the gender, hence why we don't have anything big and exciting, dramatic gender reveal video to show you. Um, we were gonna keep that for ourselves and share it with everyone um when we you know birthed our little baby out um but my husband was just too excited and shared it to a couple of different people that we hadn't planned on sharing with it and then when people found out we had people stop by our house to find out because we had a very small gender reveal i.e i mean my mother my brother my husband and myself with our two girls that we did a confetti cannon for them to find out and people drove to see what the color of the confetti was i'm telling you it was crazy so at this point we are just sharing um because i would love for you guys to know as well I've gotten so many messages wondering um, from you guys and texts and stuff like that and I know that um, you guys want to know too so we're just gonna go ahead and share and we are heaven I will actually insert a couple of videos of us finding out my husband and I as well as our little small confetti cannon these are by no means great quality or I was trying to film well these were actually just supposed to be for us for later on to look back on um, I hadn't really planned on sharing them too much um, maybe in the birth announcement and video and stuff like that but at the end of the day, this is all I got, so I hope you enjoy it, and I'll meet right back with you in a second. Hey guys, it is May 7th, it is almost 9 at night, we just got the email from the sneak peek clinical gender reveal thing. Um, this will probably be going up after the birth. We're really nervous, I feel like so many butterflies, I haven't felt this nervous. In I feel like so I'm telling long. my mom I'm having my first kid again. That's the nervous level I'm at. It's so weird. <laughs> my I, first kid. I think it's just because this is our last kid, and I don't know. It's it's no a completion. No, hold more. 
Um, <laughs> I don't have a preference either way. For a while, I was definitely team boy, but now I Help. just want a happy, healthy little baby. I don't care what. I'll be happy to have a family of girls. I'll be happy to have two girls, one boy. It's just so nerve wracking to know. I feel like it's like I finally am like, I'm pregnant. Like this is like the moment of, I'm really am pregnant. And there's like a boy or a girl growing in my tummy right now. Just took you throwing up a few times to realize that. <laughs> yeah. We don't know how to open it. I want to, I'm like scared just to open the email. I'm so scared. Let's I feel like I'm nervous. Let's read it together. I feel like we're going on a first date. <laughs> or you just told me that you liked me. <laughs> okay. What do you think it is, boy or girl? Boy. Ellie, what do you think it is, boy or girl? Uh, uh, a boy. Corey? Boy. Boy. One, <laughs> two, Three. Are you ready? One door opens <sighs> while another one closes. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three. One heart's breaking while <laughs> another one is mending. <laughs> it's okay. Come on, Mima. <laughs> if I had to. Oh, good. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a boy. It's a boy. I can't believe it. So obviously it's a boy. And we are so floored and so excited. I literally still cannot believe it. Um, we were really hoping and praying for a little boy and it, for him to be the one to complete our little family. Of course, absolutely, we would have been happy with a little girl just as much. Um, I would have been elated to give my two girls another little sister and just be a girl mom. But I'm so very excited that we are having a little boy and it definitely feels like a, a little gift from God, especially after losing my dad. Um, and that the baby is born in November right after his birthday and it just feels like a little gift from him as well um, and he knew that we wanted a little boy and that he wanted a, a little boy grandchild as well so I'm so excited and we are just elated but at the same time I am terrified <laughs> I have been a preschool teacher for many years. I have been around so many babies, taking care of so many babies, taking care of so many toddlers, little kids. I know kids, but it is just a whole other ball game when it's your own. And I feel like I've just forgotten everything I ever learned. And so now I'm like, oh my gosh, he's a little boy. What if he likes me or doesn't like me? What if, like, what does he want? What does he need? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, it's just ridiculous. I'm like having panic attacks about it. Um, but I am very excited. <laughs> my husband is just, thrilled um and it continues to remind himself that he's having a little boy and gets like little excitement parties um <laughs> on that note we are not sharing the name um i know a lot of people have asked if we have names picked out um i did share this on instagram before so if you've been following my instagram you've probably known for a while um which is another reason you should follow because i do share a lot of things on there early um but we haven't picked a name out. Um, we literally have still no idea. I feel like normally it comes to me so fast, but I am so hesitant this time. I don't know if it's just because it's a boy and it's our last one or what. I'm just like so scared. <laughs> um, but we will not be sharing the name until uh, his birth. I just feel like that's special for us as our family members. A lot of people get incredibly opinionated about names um, and if they don't like it they like to share their distaste for it and that sometimes can harp harp on the specialness that it is um, as well as I think it's just so special and beautiful when you have um, when you have your birth announcement and baby announcement and their little personhood is just laid out there and his little name and everything it's so special to me that's what we did for Eleanor. And that's what I plan on doing now. So we will not be sharing the name, but I will be more than happy to share the names that we are not choosing for sure. Um, I have lists on my phone for obviously girls that we won't be choosing names for as well as some boy names. So if you like those videos, I love those videos. I watch them all the time to get ideas. So if you're interested in that, I would love to do those videos for you as well. All right, so let's quickly just get into a recap of my first trimester and symptoms and things that I've enjoyed and things that have helped me kind of get through it because let me tell you this was the hardest 
hardest first trimester I have had. So like I just said, this pregnancy has absolutely been the hardest pregnancy I have ever gone through as far as symptoms wise. My first two pregnancies that were full term um, seemed like cake. Um, my miscarriage, unfortunately, that we experienced um, didn't didn't get very far and so I didn't have a whole lot of symptoms um, that I experienced with that one and so this one though has been the complete opposite I feel like I've had so many symptoms especially morning sickness and nausea and vomiting it has been so incredibly hard my second pregnancy with Eleanor was really difficult I was on bed rest I had hematomas and was bleeding a lot I had placental previa, I had high fluid, there was just so many things with that pregnancy, but I felt a million times better physically during that time than I have with this. I have been so sick, I have felt so weak, I have felt so depressed because of it. Um, I really feel like it just really plays on your mental health when you just feel terrible all the time. You can't enjoy food, You, it's like hard to even enjoy life because you just feel so sick. Um, it definitely was pretty dark there for a while. There were days where I couldn't even get out of bed because just the thought of moving made me puke. It was horrendous. I was actually slightly thankful for the quarantine in a way because I knew then at that point I had no responsibilities besides to keep my children alive and myself alive, but we didn't have to run to gymnastics or to school or to church or into Sunday school or here or there and doing all these errands. I just had to make sure that they were doing okay and that I was living. Um, it was a rough one, but we made it guys. We finally made it. I finally feel that I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I still am having a lot of food aversions. I still get nausea every now and then. I still am very sensitive to smells, but it is nowhere near the worst part that it, I was at. Um, I did take some medicine that my OB prescribed me and in my last two pregnancies that has worked like a charm. Didn't even phase it, didn't even touch it this time. So gender myths as far as like you're sick with girls, not the truth. Very sick with this little guy. So I don't know. <laughs> I feel like gender myths have just thrown out the window at this point. Um, along those lines as far as symptoms go, like I said, food aversions, all of that's getting better, but it just feels like I felt like food just didn't even feel good. It didn't taste good. It didn't feel good to eat. It felt worse actually in the end of it. I just, even though my body was so weak and I knew I needed to put something in my system, it just physically felt like painful almost to eat. Um, but we're getting past that. I've actually enjoyed eating again. I've enjoyed my cravings. I've enjoyed smelling food again. Like things like that have been a lot better. Um, my other symptoms, I have been really tired. It's like I never had the exhaustion. It was a different type of exhaustion. Exhaustion, exhaustion and weakness of just being sick and like throwing up and not getting enough food. But this is like different exhaustion. It is how I felt when I was first pregnant with my oldest, Olive. I felt like I had mono. I had no idea I was pregnant actually. And I thought I had mono. I was so tired. I could sleep for days and hours upon hours. And that's how I feel, especially in the mornings. It is so hard for me to get out of bed because I am so exhausted and I feel like I barely slept. And on that same note, sleeping and just trying to get a good night's sleep has been a rough one. I feel like it's already started, which is just not a fun experience. Sleeping has been hard with the many, many, many pee trips I have to take in the middle of the night, as well as just like the general, just you just don't feel good. When you're pregnant, it's like you're just uncomfortable. You're hot, you're achy. I've had a lot of leg aches and cramps at nighttime. Um, even though I'm trying to stay as hydrated as I can, I have just like my stomach hurts. It's just, you don't feel good. And sleeping is just like, I I get really bad insomnia when I'm pregnant, so I just kind of lay there. I've been taking Unisom, which is pregnancy category A, completely safe, and they actually use it to help with nausea. And I feel like it has helped with some of my nausea, to be honest. Um, but that has been really helpful as far as just being able to sleep at night and have a good night's sleep. I will say I feel like it's not working as well anymore. <laughs> Um, so we'll see what happens with that, but, um, that has been really helpful. So if you're not getting a good night's sleep, may check into that, talk to your doctor about it. It is considered category A and is completely safe, but of course, talk to your doctor. The other thing, which is kind of like my enemy here, um, he's great, 
but I also hate him. And this is my pregnancy pillow. So this thing is giant. I can't even, it's, it's completely giant. It wraps around your body in a complete like C shape. And this is from the brand Leech Co, I think. Yeah, Leech Co. I had got this for my first pregnancy. There is Starburst on it. <laughs> I've eaten Starburst. Um, there's crazy stitching that looks like Jack Skellington right there um, because it's ripped. This thing has seen some better days, but I didn't want to spend like $100, $50, however much. I think this was pretty pricey when I first got it um, because I don't want to buy a new one because I had this bad boy. I hate it because it takes up so much space in my bed um, and I like to have a lot of space when I sleep, but it's a necessity. I'm already really uncomfortable. My stomach already is really sore. If I don't prop it up, if I don't support it at night, I feel like when I wake up in the morning, someone's just been like doing that to my belly. So I have to support it at night. And this really, really helps with that. That helps with my leg aches, but I hate it because it's so big and I'm a flip flopper at night. So I'm constantly flopping back and forth and I have to flip it over one side and flip it back. And it's just such a pain. Um, but it is a really good pillow and works really well but it's just giant so if you don't mind that if you're not a big mover when you sleep this could be a good option i do recommend it it's just kind of a pain in the butt um my husband where i would like switch to a california size king bed we have it currently we have a queen i would totally go to like the giant bed um, wall to wall if i could because i love my space when i sleep my husband on the other hand would easily switch to a twin mattress if he could. He wants to be like right there on top of us, like sucking each other's skin in pretty much. That was really graphic, I'm sorry. But I like my space when I sleep. I love him to death. He's the light of my life. I don't want to be touched when I sleep. Whether I'm pregnant or not, I'm just, I'm not a cuddler. It's not my thing. I like my space. And so this kind of hinders it even more because I lose even more space. And then he's just right on there snuggling with it too. <laughs> I love him, I really do, but I just am not a cuddler. And on that note, a lot of you guys were really thankful that I mentioned um, that for whatever reason, my hormones make me not want to be touched. I don't know what it is. It's happened in the past few pregnancies and it's happened all upon this one too. Um, as it gets further along, I just, the thought of being touched, the thought of cuddling, the thought of just being all cute and romantic, it's just not my thing. I like hate the idea. I don't know why it's like, I don't want to be touched. I don't know if it's because I physically am like, I know I have no space internally because I'm growing a human being. It's like, I need space externally, at least something. <laughs> I need a bubble. Um, and I feel so bad because my husband's love language is physical affection and physical touch. Whereas that's not my, my love language. Even when I'm not pregnant, I like words of affirmation and acts of service. And so I have to just constantly be mindful that the way he receives love is me being physical with him and him being able to be physical with me and just being like, he needs to feel, cause he starts feeling like less confident and just having a hard time. And I know if I'm especially physically distant, it starts waning on him. So I have to constantly remember like, I need to show him love. That's how he receives it the best. So, but a lot of you guys were feeling a bit relieved because you felt so bad because you feel that way too. I think it's actually pretty normal. I think hormones kind of, it's like a safety net maybe. I don't know, but I think it's pretty normal. <laughs> um, the last thing is like the biggest symptom that I've really noticed lately has been my skin. It has been the worst it has ever been in my whole entire life. With my first two, especially my oldest, I had a lot of acne breakouts along my jawline from hormones. Um, and I'm not someone who really gets a whole lot of acne or breakouts. And that's not necessarily the case with this one. My skin is so dry, it's so textured, it feels like I'm a mummy and I haven't seen the light of day or a moisturizer in about 50 years. I don't know what's going on, but it is terrible. I have used so many products. So, I mean, not new products, things that are safe and things that I've used before forever, nothing's changing. I can't get the dead skin off. I can't get the moisture in my skin, doesn't matter. It feels like it's just continually, like I'm just, I'm physically aging with, and my skin's drying out, I'm becoming a mummy. I don't know, it's terrible. And um, I, when I get stressed, I get cold sores. So mama got a cold sore. Happens every pregnancy too. It's like I stress myself out so much I get a cold sore. Um, I've had to start staying off the internet, staying off news sites, staying off things because it only stresses me out worse and gives me anxiety. And I just, I can't do that. It's not good for baby. So I've had to choose to stay off that type of stuff. Um, and 
try to let this heal. It's bad. It's in the like the scabby, the heal phase. It's almost. It's getting better. We're past the weeping. We're past the seeping. We're past the disgustiness. If you don't have cold sores, I wish I was you, man. I wish I was you, but. Unfortunately, I've had them since I was in eighth grade, and when I get real stressed, that's when they like to poof. So that's happened, but also just like on my lip line, it's like bumpy and gross and like dr so dry, but also almost like breakouts, but not really. I don't know if you have any advice, please help me because my mouth looks like I have like a terrible infection everywhere, and it's not an infection, it's just. <sighs> Ugh, it's not pretty, it's not cute. You don't want to see what's going on underneath this makeup. All right, so I guess that's it. that's it for my symptoms. Let's move on to things that I've really enjoyed, that really helped, and what I would recommend for you guys. I've already mentioned the pillow. Um, I also mentioned this in my last video, but if you didn't see that, I definitely would recommend it. It is the Baby Doppler. Um, I just got mine in. I got this new one. I've used another one before, Sauna Line B, but eventually it pooped out my last pregnancy at the end of it, so this is in my new one. Um, I will probably pass this on to my friends who end up getting pregnant but i love this thing it's inexpensive i will leave the link below um i found his heartbeat at the end of week eight i believe beginning of week nine i've been able to find their heartbeats pretty early because of being pregnant so many times knowing what their heartbeats sound like knowing where to go um but i was super excited to find it and it's just such a reassurance especially going in um to each ultrasound and knowing that at least there's a heartbeat um it kind of just gives you like a breath and I just know that he's still there. His heartbeat is still beating. Of course, I'm not an OB. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a radiologist. I can't read anything like that. I don't know necessarily with that a hundred percent entirely that he's totally fine, but just knowing there's a heartbeat just gives me some peace. So I've been really liking that and to go along with that, I recommended this in my last video, but it's aloe vera. I use that ultrasound gel so fast. It goes by so fast. Aloe vera is so much better. It's moisturizing. It's really, really cheap. However, as of right now, with everything going on, a lot of people have been stocking up an aloe vera and mixing it with alcohol for hand sanitizer. So if you can't get your hands on it, um, hopefully there'll be like a new shipment in because it'll be summertime, so they should start um, keeping more of this on hand and on stock. So hopefully you can, but this is great. Really cheap, will last my whole entire pregnancy and then some, and it's moisturizing. So that's what I recommend using for the Doppler. All right, so to kind of go along with my cravings, um, I have been eating lots of fruits and vegetables. It's what I crave the most. Lots of like carrots and celery and olives and watermelon and strawberries and cherries. Oh my gosh, it's cherry season and it's so good. Um, all of those things have just been hitting it so well, which I'm really happy I've been craving mostly healthy things. However, I've been also craving these bad boys. Good old reasons. These are like the old people candy. Although old people probably shouldn't be eating them because they are so chewy that it's like, I feel like teeth would just pop out like crazy um, and fillings and stuff like that. But these are so good. They have been hitting the nail on the head too with my cravings. And I feel like a little old lady eating them, but I love them. The next thing that's a bit more healthy um, are these two types of sparkling waters. Sparkling water has been so good. It gives me that carbonation, that kind of like soda vibe without eating anything or drinking anything that's unhealthy. And it helps so good with morning sickness because it's really, really cold. It's not overly flavored. So good. I highly recommend it. My favorites have been the AHA sparkling water. Brittany from Brittany and Baby or Brittany Morrow talked about these. And I love this one. This is the blueberry pomegranate. It is so gosh darn flavorful. It has like multiple levels of flavor. It is so good. And then this is the Waterloo one. I randomly found this on Walmart grocery app and I love this. This is the watermelon. Super delicious. Really, really like them. You have to drink them straight out of the fridge or with ice because they need to be cold. Otherwise, they don't taste good. But those are super great for the morning sickness and been working so well for me for weeks. I normally get super sick after like one or two days of a drink or a juice or a lemonade or something. I can't even be close to it again, but those have been continual for weeks. So highly recommend. I haven't been wearing maternity clothes, mostly because I haven't been leaving and I've just been wearing my big cozy jammies. I've been really loving swing dresses. Um, I will pop up a couple pictures um, and link some below from like Walmart and Old Navy. It's just the basic swing dresses that are kind of stretchy. They're so comfortable. They're great for the weather and just being hot outside, but they're super great and adjusting for my belly. I love them. That's been like the other thing I wear all the time. I haven't been wearing maternity clothes yet, but I'm getting there. All right, so I think that's enough about my 
body and my stuff and we're gonna jump into a couple of the things of a little man little babe um, i call him nugs for chicken nugget we shorten it to nugs and it's just it's fitting <laughs> I've been craving a lot of chicken nuggets and chicken tender chicken tenders too so nugs is very fitting i don't know why I want like fish tacos too, like some good and fish and chips. Mm, that sounds so good right now. It's like lemon and malt vinegar. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Anyway, <laughs> um, moving on from that. This is one of the items that I got for him. I love like this rust color, obviously. It's so beautiful. I feel like it's gender neutral. He'll be born in November, so pumpkin season and fall season. So it's perfect for that, as well as he'll be born right before Thanksgiving, probably the week of Thanksgiving because it's a scheduled C-section. And I think this is like the most Thanksgiving color too. It just makes me so excited. Um, this is from the brand The Sugar House. I got this. Um, online on Amazon and it's a really nice muslin swaddle. I like it because it's not incredibly see-through. There, I can like, I can see through it right now, I can see the light, but it's not incredibly, incredibly see-through where it feels like it's unraveling and falling apart. And this will be perfect for the fall weather. Um, I really, really like this one. It's nice and big. They did have a bunch of different colors, but the rest was just calling my name. And I just think this will be so pretty. Um, of course, I feel like this is the vibe I'm going for for baby clothes, but I feel like it's so hard to find little boy baby clothes that aren't like really kitschy, that aren't like tough guy, little man, cool dude, or whatever, and they have like a tractor or a dinosaur or whatever. Like I, I want a little less of that. I feel like with girls clothes, you can find so many different cuts, so many different patterns, neutral things, and it's just really, really cute. But I feel for like little boys, it's so limited. And with all the really cute stuff I can find is like really expensive, like small shops, boutiques, and as much as I want to support them, and I'm trying to, I can't spend like $35, $45 on each onesie. So let me know below if there's any websites that you would recommend for um, just some like more, just some cuter little man clothes, you know, that aren't overly like tractors, trucks, boys, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't know if that made any sense, but if you know what I'm saying, leave it below or where you shop for your little boy clothes. Um, I feel like I'm totally out of my element. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, to go along with that, I found this little hat and I love the trees theme, like the forest themes. I love them. That's what I've been gravitating towards. This is from Cop Copper Pearl, um, which I have been wanting to try out this brand for a long time. You can get them now on Amazon and this is adjustable for zero to four months old. But let me quickly just tell you. My kids are just born with giant heads. Both my girls had giant heads. I have a giant head. At least I think I have a giant head. My husband thinks he has a giant head. We don't, when we look at each other, we don't see the giant head. We ourselves think we have giant heads. Both of my girls have been off the scale when they measure heads. Um, not the 99 percentile, like literally off the scale and off the grid and off the chart. They could never fully measure their head and percentages. Um, that was up until they stopped measuring heads. Like they've always been off the chart for heads. Um, no, never a problem, never an issue. I mean, they said you have a bigger head, you, lar you have a larger brain. So here's hoping that's the truth. I don't know why we just, I birth babies with big heads. Um, and I'm very thankful, very thankful I do C-sections or have C-sections because I can't imagine the tearing that would happen with those, those, those giant little things. Um, anyway, so this will probably fit them perfectly. <laughs> Although this looks giant right now, and that's what my husband was saying. This will be probably pretty accurate for those, for those, those little guys, those little guy. Um, but I plan on trying the copper, uh, copper, copper, ooh, copper pearl swaddles. They have really, really nice swaddles. Um, I love their like fabric. It's almost like a Jersey, really stretchy, breathable fabric. It's really cute. I love the little knot on top. I'm always looking for like bows and like little bow hats and all this stuff and little cute little girl, like little turbans and stuff like that. I just, it's so weird to be looking for boy things. Like I'm just still not used to it. Um, Next, I bought a pack of pacifiers. These are from Itsy Ritzy. These are called the Sweetie Soothers. These are really cute. They're food grade silicone pacifiers. They come in a bunch of different colors. I will say I bought these on Amazon and I feel like the colors looked a little bit cuter online than they do in person, but I still think they're really cute. They have like a braided little um, strap on them. They're adorable. Now, my oldest 
took to pacifiers but it took her a little bit but she ended up loving pacifiers but she did not like this type of nipple or um she liked the little fatter ones like flat fatter ones and then my middle child my youngest soon to be middle child eleanor she never liked pacifiers she was a blanket kid from day one she never found comfort in pacifiers so i'm really interested to see if he will that's why i didn't buy a whole lot of them yet um, i'm trying out these ones first and i will definitely probably buy another pack of the little fatter ones as well um i do think pacifiers I'm a pro pacifier type of lady, but I'm not gonna force them on my kids, just like my youngest, she just like meh. Um, she never really cared, never really wanted them. But I feel like if they can help soothe, especially if they're having ear pain or if they're having um, issues with their teeth, sometimes that can help. Um, and just to be like a little soothing thing, I don't mind it. It's never been a big issue for us. We've been able to wean off pacifiers without a big problem. Ollie did amazing with it. So um, I don't know, I'm pro pacifier, but I know not everybody is, and that's totally up to you. But anyways, I do really like these. I think they're great. They have really great reviews. Um, Itsy Ritzy is a huge like baby gear brand, and I'm really hoping to try to look into diaper bags and figure out which one I want. But I'm really kind of sold right now on the Itsy Ritzy. I think it's called the Boss Bag. It's like a backpack. Super cute. Let me know below if you have that or if you like it or if you don't like Itsy Ritzy, what you feel like, um, or if you want to see videos of like little baby hauls and stuff like I. Um, get and things like that let me know i've been so interested in them i love that stuff man i eat it up so let me know below if you want to see those as well um and lastly i have this little outfit this is i bought off of etsy a small shop um called adventures and clothes co like i said i'm trying really hard to support smaller businesses and small shops especially um because of the climate that we're in right now but it is so expensive. It's so hard to buy onesies because they are so pricey. But that's what all the cute ones are too, in my opinion. Um, but I got this cute, adorable little onesie. This will probably be his take-home outfit or his, like, welcome to life birth announcement picture outfit once again it's the trees i can't help it i just gravitate towards it i think it's adorable this fabric is wonderful it's super super soft really stretchy so this is the size newborn she did say that they ran bigger um, which i feel like this does look a little bit big but it is really stretchy so if he happens to be really long or bigger than a newborn size i'm hoping he at least can fit this for a little bit um that's something that's kind of hard for me right now as well both my girls were on the smaller side and so they stayed in newborn clothes for a, a good chunk of time so i kind of feel like i don't know how much newborn stuff i need to buy because i don't have any boy stuff <laughs> i don't know how much newborn stuff i need to buy um i know that boys typically run a little bit bigger when they're born so let me know below your experience and what you recommend because I feel so out of my element. I feel like I'm a first time mom right now. <laughs> anyway, um, I love this. I think this is like such a special little onesie. And like I said, this is from Etsy from Adventures, Adventures Clothes Co. Um, and I just think it's really sweet. She had a bunch of different patterns and stuff like that. Um, and I got it in the bundle with the little hat that comes with it. This looks awfully small and it's not super, super stretchy. Um, it's nice and thick and I feel like it would be really warm. However, like I said, I feel like this will be too small for a little baby's head. Maybe in the very beginning, but that thing grows real fast. So I feel like this is a bit more, a bit more apt. <laughs> um, but this matches with it and looks super duper cute. When I see this, I don't know if you guys watch Ozark, but this makes me think of Buddy's hats. He has little beanies on his head all the time. And I don't know, when I look at this, I think of Buddy. So, I don't know, that was weird. We've been watching a lot of Ozark lately, so that's probably why I'm just in Ozark mode. Anyway, I love this. Um, I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess that is it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and our little uh, gender reveal announcement. And I hope you've been enjoying my pregnancy video so far. Um, I know a lot of people in their videos with showing off the bump. I am just not super comfortable with it. I've always been kind of struggled with insecurities with my belly in general but also my pregnancy bump because it's not the perfect little rounded little bump i'm working through that but it's not something that i'm like here take a picture of my belly i've just never been that type of person um but i know a lot of people like to see the bump progressions um but i'm sorry i'm just not showing you mine i hope that's okay but that is it i guess that is the end of, end of this video let me know below if you'd like to see more pregnancy content either like baby hauls um, diaper bag, what I put in my diaper bag, hospital bag videos, obviously those are a bit farther down the road since I'm only 14 weeks, <laughs> but, um, 
if you want to see what names we won't be choosing videos stuff like that then let me know below i'm like on a roll with watching pregnancy videos it's one of my favorite things to do when i'm pregnant i think it's so much fun and it's so exciting um and it gets you excited it's fun to watch other people's pregnancy videos i go back and watch people's from like years ago because i like love them so much and i get so excited so anyway <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and thank you if you already commented or sent me messages or text messages um and just wishing me congratulations you guys have been so incredibly sweet and i am just so thankful for each and every one of you um i can't it means so much to us and it's so fun to share this with you guys in this journey and it's been a long time coming we've been trying like i said for a year so it and some there's so many times where i forget like i just i can't believe i'm pregnant like i'll look down and i'm like wow my belly's like really rounding and there's actually a little person in there it's just crazy sometimes so i'm so thankful for you guys so thank you so much for watching i can't wait to see you guys in my next video and yeah let me know below um how you guys feel about everything like i said i'd love for your advice on some of the questions that i asked for and i will see you guys all very soon bye guys